here. Today we're going to be doing an untubing of an Art Dot diamond painting kit. Um, Art Dot, as you probably know from all their other accessories that they have, storage, cool magnifying glasses, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, they actually took a year off, a year hiatus from diamond painting kits. Um, they have a new and improved kit now, so they asked me if I would show this to you guys. So thank you to Art Dot for sending this to me. Um, I remember back in the day, it's been over a year ago, when they had their old diamond paintings, they actually came, so they always do things differently, it came in a box, a flat box, you know, it wasn't like our normal sized boxes that we're used to seeing, the rectangular shape, it was a, the, the paintings actually came flat, but now they're coming in a tube, which is really cool. So I'm excited to see what this is like, they did send me the butterflies, so I thought that was really pretty. They have um, roses and butterflies right now, but they will be coming out with images, licensed images, um, monthly. So I'll have all their information linked down below. And let's go ahead and take a, let's take a look at everything. It says beginner, advanced, and pro. So it looks like they sent an advanced. And of course it's got Art Dot. Um, this was in an, in an outer box, but it came in great shape. It, does, it is wrapped in cellophane, DIY diamond painting kit. It says advanced here in this lettering. We've got Art Dot up here. And it talks about stress relief, sparkling art, uh, age-friendly uh, craft, and then everything that comes in. So we get a canvas, um, or a Canva, a premium Canva, a diamond set, a pen, tray, wax, color code stickers, and then you get some freestyle stickers. You get two of those. Okay, I've never had the freestyle stickers before. So I'm very, very um, interested to see what this is gonna be all about. They do have the nine steps on how to diamond paint on this side. Awesome, okay. Let's get into this. Um, I'm excited. Like I said, this is this came in a little cellophane wrap here. So I was gonna do this with you together. While we're opening this, let me tell you a couple of the features of Art Dot. Um, just to start off, if you are interested in what you're seeing today, I am an affiliate. So I do have an affiliate code. You'll get 10% off if you use the code Shay, and I'll put my referral link down there below. So if you use my referral link and my code, I will. I may earn a small commission. So thank you in advance if you choose to do that. I do appreciate it. Um, let's talk some other some other benefits about Art Dot. Um, two to three day delivery. Love that. So you get your painting super super fast. Free shipping over twenty five dollars. And they do monthly giveaways on Facebook. So I'll have all their socials linked down below. They have Facebook, um, they have Instagram, they might even have TikTok. But yeah, I'll put all their socials down below. And yeah, so let's get into it. Um, this is very nice and it's not a big size. I like the size. Looks like this just pops off. And I know some of the other affiliates have done some unboxings and I haven't watched any. So this is really truly gonna be my true reaction. And I have no, oh, a pink heart fell out, blue wax. Um, I have no idea how this is gonna go. And I haven't seen any of their unboxings before. So hopefully I can figure all this out. Okay, so they do have the painting uh, rolled up, painting side out. Let me shake this out. So that's interesting. Only one little heart shaped. Oh, I see what happened. The toolkit opened up. It's actually, um, oh, it had a little sticker right here. It looks like the sticker came out. Okay, so that's why. So a couple of the things did fall out. But let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, there's the stickers. Okay, so accessory kit. I love blue wax. These, I really, really do like blue wax. Um, but if you are new to diamond painting, just remember there is, and just don't forget, there is a little film on the top of this. So when you go to put your pen in there, see, you've got to peel off this little film first or you'll get nowhere if you just poke this, okay? You get a blue squishy. Looks like blue is definitely their, their, their color, okay? I'm seeing a lot of blue accessories in here. You do get a blue tray. Oh, this tray is cool. Okay, reminds me of some other trays I've seen. Very nice, it's got the little spout, it's got high lines. And let's see, you got your pen. It looks like a blue pen. Ooh, it's a blue sparkle pen, pretty. And then you do have a little multi-placer on the end. These are the thicker ones, they're not my favorite, but that's, that's fine. And the brass tip. And then you do get random washi tape, that's pretty. Got some green, like, like little petals and flowers. Little plants, that's pretty. So you get that. And then here's the freestyle stickers. I've been curious about these. These are where you can just put whatever you want on these. You can pick the color of drills that you put. Yeah, very cool. So you see right here, it says A. So it gives you the outline, but you get to pick the inside color. Is that a feather? Yeah, and a, and a flower. Very cute, okay. Awesome toolkits, all the things you need, plus a few extras. So I do like that. And I'm interested in that tray to see how that works. All right, 
So we'll get into the drills in just a second. I wanna see what this painting looks like. So for filming purposes, I don't think there's anything else in there. Do y'all see anything else in there? Nope. For filming purposes, um, I'm gonna roll it back. Oh, there is something else. Here's our sticker sheet. Okay, we'll look at that. Anything else? Nope. Oh, this is great. Great size, but it's long. So what I do is I always grab my painting and I like to roll it the opposite direction of how it's been shipped. So that way it helps it, you know, flatten out just a little bit sooner. So I just grab the edge of my table and kind of stretch it out. This is gorgeous. We'll look at the drill filled quality and the glue and all that stuff in just a second. We'll take a tour of the canvas. Canvas feels really, really nice. It's like got a felt back, but it's thick. Very, very, yeah, it's thick quality. It's not cheap. It doesn't feel cheap and thin at all. I'm even having a harder time rolling it back because it's so like nice and thick. So it's great. The plastic is really nice on the front. So yeah, I don't want to make that scratching. So yeah, I just roll it the opposite way that it comes just to get it to lay flat and just squeeze it a few times. Okay, let's take a look at this beautiful butterfly with all these flowers. I'm so excited. And it looks like it's around. I'm looking at the drills. Okay, let's go ahead. Look at how self-flattening that is. Wow, you guys. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm impressed so far. Look how flat. I could start diamond painting on this immediately. Oh, it is upside down. I apologize. <laughs> Y'all, again, I've never, I've never unboxed an art dot in a long time, so you have to forgive me. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so they've got art dot on the top. They do have the thumbnail. It says original right here. And then it's got the number, the symbol, and the DMC number. So one is one, two is two. Whoops. Let me bring this up so y'all can see the symbols. Three, three, four. And then it looks like five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when we get to 10, it starts with an A. And then it's... It's, yeah, it's got the alphabet down there. Okay. Yeah. Symbols are a little dark. It's kind of hard to see some of the symbols like that. I mean, I can see it's a G, but I really have to look. So there's 35 colors. Pretty. So there's the legend on the, on this, on the left side. And then there's a legend on the bottom right. So top left, bottom right. And let's look at the bottom. It says shape is round. The count of drills is 27,378. The size is a 26 by 13 inches or 66 by 33 in centimeters. And then there's the SKU number. I do like how they have it in inches and centimeters because a lot of us use different things. And then here's friendly and hassle-free customer service. It's got their art dot website and then it's got their support email. Okay, so if you need anything, you just send them an email. Y'all, this is really nice. Okay, I like this. Let's check the stickiness. Let's see how the glue is. Oh yeah, very sticky. It's got a nice, like I said, I really, the quality is there. I am impressed by the quality. Just the feel, the look. Let's look at the drill field. I'm gonna bring up this orange butterfly right here. And I'm just gonna show you how clear the symbols are. Yeah, I don't think I've had any problems with this. There's some blues that are near each other, but they're CDs, H's, so the symbols. And I'm looking right here where you've got the, darker, sorry, the darker colors. Looks like a gray and then like a black. But yeah, I can read all those. Okay. This is great, you guys. I'm still impressed with this, the canvas itself and the material that they're using because it flattened out really nice. It feels expensive. It feels like top quality diamond painting materials. So I like that. All right. Let's go ahead and look at, see what they gave us here. This looks like a sticker sheet. So yes, art dot craft is a lifestyle. Absolutely. So this entire thing is a sticker. So you could cut this out and put this in a log book, which is what I'll do. I do keep a log book. So I keep detailed of, you know, every dime painting that I, that I've done when I've started, when I finished it, it's got all the details down below. I like that. And here's your stickers that you're going to put on your storage containers. Now, oh, this is awesome. They did, they have made some improvements y'all. These are individually cut. So you don't even need to do anything. You don't need to cut these out. They're, they're just peel and stick stickers. Peel and stick, yeah, obviously it's stickers, but yeah. Um, love it, and you've got all the information you need, the symbol, yeah, the DMC, and they even have it listed right here to make it very clear. Okay, the only thing I'm not seeing on here that I'm kind of used to seeing is if you look on the legend on here, it shows number one, right? Now, number one is number one on here, but let's get down to like 10, okay? So 10 was A, it doesn't have 10 on there. But I don't know who really uses the one through 35 numbers on here. I really choose the symbols in the DMC, so this is gonna be fine for me. Yep, totally fine. This is interesting, look at this label. Why is it, 
Does that have any ABs in it? Look at this one, it's like a rainbow sticker. And it does give you some extra stickers, which is very nice. Okay, yeah, I don't know if there's any ABs or any special drills. We'll have to take a look at the drills in a sec. So yeah, this is an entire sticker. And what I tell some folks, just be careful when you do it, but you know how I roll back the canvas the opposite way? I also do it with the sticker, just a little bit, just to kind of have it, you know, lie straight. I also do something that I don't think I've shown y'all before. Sometimes I do it off camera um, and I'm like, I need to show them. So what I do is, let me bring you to the corner of my desk. So what I'll do is after I've rolled it back the other way to get it just to flatten out a little bit more, I actually will just kind of rub it on the edge and it just makes it flatten out just a little bit more. If you've got something that's really wanting to roll up, I just kind of, and it gets any kind of bubbles out and, and that's another thing you can do. Um, you're kind of seeing these, these lines right here. Sorry about the reflection, but you can see some of the lines. This is not rivers, this is not damaged. It's just the bubbles from the plastic. So what you can do is you can release that tension and peel back the plastic. You can do like, I would do one whole side and then do the other side. See, the canvas itself is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. All of those little little rivers were just in the, in the plastic, just from it being rolled up. So yeah, I just release the tension, kind of just rub it back down and there you go. I could have done that a little bit on this side. But yeah, you just kind of, it's all the fun things. Yes, there we go. So you can see the little, you can see all the little creases in this side. There's no more on this side. They've all been rubbed out. So yeah, okay. Let's look at the drills. Now it looks like these are not individually bagged. So they are in like the trains, but that's fine. So you just have to look for the tab on here. Here we go. Sorry about the crinkle. Now what I do is make sure, if you're going to be moving these into a storage container, um, make sure you save this, this outer bag for trash. It's a great, ooh, I see some sparkle bits. <gasps> there is an AB, I see a blue AB, and that stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's a special coating they put on the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter than some of the others. Ooh, I see a yellow AB. Okay, this is gonna be awesome. So yeah, what I do is when I'm kidding up, that means you know moving everything over to storage containers, um, I just prop this open like this. They always prop open really nice. And I just, as I'm cutting these open, just toss everything in here, seal it up and throw it away when you're done. All right. Oh, these are gorgeous colors. Look at the color palette, you guys. I know we didn't do the drill reveal, but now we're doing it. Look at these bright, vibrant rainbow, just happy colors. Oh, wow. Look at the orange. And it's got all the information on there and then some. All right, let's go ahead and go through these. Let me see if I can go in some sort of order, depending on how they have them here. I'm seeing it go down, so I think I'm getting to one. Looks like two trains, or maybe, yes, yeah, two trains. This is the second train. All right, so I see one. So let's see, it says CF, CBF Y3366, is that the SKU number? It sure is. Okay, so they have the, even have the SKU number. So if you wanted to store these drills separate than your painting, some people like to hang their painting like on in their hanger, like on hangers in their closet, to you know keep them flattened before they work on them, or maybe hang it up while they're working on it. And you want to store these if you haven't opened up the drills yet. Then yeah, you can store these separate. You'll know what goes to what. So they've got the number one here. It even says Art Dot, and it's got 166, the DMC. Okay, I like that green. So we've got 166, 208, really pretty purple. I would go on that side when I can't see the numbers. We've got 209. I have found that 208 and 209, for all you purple lovers out there, those two are always kind of together. <gasps> Our first AB. Look at that yellow AB. See the coating on there? Let me turn it around so you'll see. That's a good size bag. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. So yeah, it's, it's an AB, Aurora Borealis. And you just see all that beautiful, beautiful coating on there that just makes them sparkle. That's 307, okay? I didn't grab my scissors, but... um. I wonder if I can rip these. Some of them you can rip. And some you can't, but I wanted to show where the ABs go. We'll just have to go back to it and find it. Okay, we've got this really pretty red, 321. I love 321. 433, 434, 445, a small bag of that. We've got 472, ooh, that's another AB. Ooh, that's pretty. It's another like a light, almost like a green. Yeah, okay, so we've got two ABs. So far, I love that color. That's really pretty. So 472, and then we have 500, which is a really dark green. 
Ooh, 550, very, very popular. Ooh, two bags of that. So if you love purple, I know purple lovers love 550. Yeah, so you got two big bags of 550. This is 666, a really pretty red. You got 701, 740, and 741. Those two are, are together a lot, those two oranges. 742, we've got 797, a really pretty blue. 814, and then 815. So you have similar families of colors next to each other. Okay, and we'll see where those ABs go in just a sec. Oh, I see another AB. Is there three ABs in here? I didn't really see it from the stickers um, on being able to identify if you had ABs or not. So we'll have to look at that in a sec. All right, 20, 20 okay, here we go. This, this has got a little bit of a wrinkles in it, but it still works. 820, I haven't seen any 310 yet, but I think I'm, we're gonna get to it. 891, 892. 895, 906, 907. So you've got a lot of 906, 907s. 939, it's a really, really dark blue. 947, 995, I love that blue. 996, 3761, 3834, 3837, 3843, and here's another AB, 3846, and then 3842. So it looks like we have yellow, a light green, and then this blue AB. So there are three ABs. All right, so let's see. The first one was that yellow. So I'm curious, that's number four. So if you're looking, oh, y'all, I'm seeing them now. Y'all were probably seeing them the whole time and be like, Shay, Shay, I see the rainbow ones now. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I'm not gonna edit this out either. It's just real, right? I've never done one before. This is my first time, 307. We've got 472 and 3846. I love how they have those rainbow labeled. Perfect. All right, so let's see where those go. We've got, where'd my yellow go? Here it is. Ooh, that's a good size. I love yellow. All right, that's number four. And that is the number four. So of course I'm gonna look in the yellow section. So I'm not even gonna look over here. Let's start on this side. Yes, up here, there's fours. See all in the wings, all that yellow. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. And down here, I see it. Some over here. Oh yeah, these green are gonna have this yellow pop right here. Gorgeous. Do I see them over here in any of the orange? Nope, it looks like it's just right here. And let me look at this orange one with a little bit of yellow. Nope, it's just gonna be in this green right here. Okay, you're gonna have that yellow AB. And the next one was this really pretty, small bag, but kind of that light green. I don't know, it's a good name for that. Y'all have to let me know in the comments. Uh, that's number nine, and that's gonna be nine. And what color? Let's uh, let's see. I'm looking, y'all. I'm kind of looking, looking over here as well, because it's that light, light green. But it's kind of tricky on where I would find it. I'm not seeing any yet. Do y'all see any? I need help. I'm not seeing it through here. I just see ones. Would it be over in these, this blue? Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, this is a small bag, so it was kind of tricky. Right here, on the tip of this wing, right here. There's some nines. I see some right here, over here. So those kind of outline some of the tips and right here. Okay, and then also some over here. There's some nines. Well, this is pretty, okay. Accented, really, really nice. And then that last one was this pretty blue, and that's number 34. And that is the P symbol. And let's look in the blues. Yep. So this blue butterfly down here, I'm seeing lots of lots of pink, lots of uh, not pink, lots of peas here and through here. And there's a good bag, so I bet there's going to be a lot. Oh yeah, through all these blue butterflies, I'm seeing peas all throughout. It's that kind of lighter blue. It's that baby blue. Yeah. Okay. I don't see any over here, so it's mainly just through here. Okay. What do y'all think? Let me know. I am so curious to find out, one, if you've ordered from Art Dot before. I know a lot of folks have their storage containers and their, their accessories, but have you ordered a dime painting and what was your experience like? Let me know. Um, I'm curious because I know, like I said, they've come out with the rose one and the butterfly one, and I don't have any butterfly paintings, so I'm excited about this. And this is a good mix. You know, I wouldn't say as far as, far as color blocking and confetti is concerned, it's probably gonna be a little more confetti heavy, now that I'm looking at it, confetti is when we're kind of switching colors a lot. Um, not a lot of color blocking, 
So it'll be a challenge. I can see why it's an advanced, but not a pro, right? And it's definitely not beginner friendly, but it, you know, hey, if it's someone that's done a few and they're interested, this could be a great way to do it. So again, if you are interested in anything Art Dot, um, other than just this, it could be anything Art Dot, go ahead and use my affiliate link, my referral link that's in the description and my code SHAY, S-H-A-Y, and you'll get 10% off, okay? Thank you all so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments and just let me know what you think of this. And if you're thinking about ordering from Art Dot, let me know. And if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. They really do help. And then if you have not subscribed, I would absolutely love to have you. And it is free. It doesn't cost one cent. So go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. You'll be part of my diamond painting world with tons of diamond painting content and some other fun things kind of sprinkled here and there. And then after that subscribe button, go ahead and click that notification bell and click all. And then you'll be notified whenever I post up any new videos. All right, y'all. I'm going to have fun playing with the drills and getting them back in the bag and uh, putting this baby away until I can work on it. But I'm loving this. Very, very nice. Thank you again to the folks at Art Thought for sending this to me. That was very, very nice of you. So, all right, y'all. Take care. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye, guys.